I'm Ming Jen. I teach 18 children ages 3 to 5 with two other team members. Is it going to slide, roll, or stay still? Dan and Polly. You got it. The children we care for have a variety of learning styles, interests, and are at different points in their development. I'm sliding. To support all of their science learning, we offer many different ways to explore ramps. Both active and quiet, unstoppable, in large groups, and small, cool. and inside, Get set. and outside. Go. What does a slide mean? We introduced our ramp unit with a full group activity, where we tested if different objects would slide, ready, roll, or stay in place on a ramp. Did it slide? Gigi, would you like to try? Come on. This was a great way to get the kids excited. <laughs> and it allowed us to gauge their interest and understanding so we could better determine how to group them later. When we set up our learning centers, we try to have something for everyone. For the children with a good handle on the concepts or just more enthusiastic kids, our Marble Track Learning Center was perfect. How about that peel? Oh, yeah. Okay. They were able to explore and play independently without the need for much support. <laughs> but one of our students felt shy about joining in. So we started her off at our art center where she designed a roller coaster out of paper. Later in the week, she was happily making marble roller coasters with a friend and with the support of my team member, Dan. Mia, do you think you can get it in the bowl? Get it in the bowl. Good teamwork. We used the same strategy outside, where we had the whole class rolling different objects down a hill go, to see which ones will go farther. Which one go farthest? My ball! The kids loved this activity, and it was a great way to keep a big group engaged. It bounced up onto the cement and then keep going. It also allowed me to work with smaller groups to explore in a more focused way. Why did the grass not stop your ball? Because my ball is a little bit bigger than Patrick's ball. Mm. As we support the children who need more help, we also try hard not to forget those with a deeper understanding of the concepts we are learning. I want to hit here, to zoom off here, and land in here. I challenged one of my students okay. to try to set up blocks at an angle so he could get a golf ball in a cup. That was close. What do you need to do? We will change the angle. This really pushed his understanding in a positive and fun way. <gasps> Yay! Give me a five! What else could be a, a ramp? It's important to vary the way we explain the different science concepts. Show me how you make a ramp with your body. <gasps> like this. For instance, what a ramp is and how it works. What tells you about the special features of the ramp? One end's little and then goes up, up, high and high and high and high and high. Can I say a ramp is a place that one end is higher than the other end? Yes. Just put it on gently. What happened? What did you notice? It didn't slide. Okay, now if you make the ramp higher, do you think it will slide? Good. Let me hold it. Oh, What did you notice? It slide because I made I I did it a little higher. By offering different ways to explore ramps, there's a better chance our children will understand the science concepts we want them to learn. What did you pick? Idiot. What could I do to the ramp so this alien will go down the ramp? Make it steeper. Come on, let's make it steeper. Now it's 
let's try it. Great, let's try it. Wait a minute, did it go down? With 18 children, it does take effort to make sure every child is working on something that interests and challenges them. It's working! But our extra effort is helping them develop scientific thinking and a love of science. It's really exciting! <laughs>